crap, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. John Hines. John Hines. Wow. I mean, you want to talk about gutsy. You want to talk about ballsy. You want to talk about cojones on the table. Wow. But we'll get to that here in a minute. First and foremost, the Wild win in overtime by a score of 4-3 to three against the Nashville Predators after losing in overtime to Colorado in, which actually was a pretty good game, all things considered. Like, going back to Friday night here, I thought we would have gotten absolutely smoked. And the fact we managed to salvage one point out of that before, well, Nichushkin. <laughs> but hey, at least we got a point out of it, and I, you know, this, that, and the other thing. here. But fast forward to this game, and holy crap, what a game. I mean, it, it, it had everything. It was physical. It was grindy. It was punchy. You know, both Felino and Shaw dropped the gloves today. And, uh, well, refing was, well, refing. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really going to, you know, take too much time on all that stuff here. Just because, again, frankly, I really don't care at this point. It's, you know, Phantom Joel Erickson at Cole in the third period would even gave them a chance for a power play. And, well, we'll get into that here in a minute. So, yeah. In the first period, the scoring, well, first started off with Jonas Brodeen with an assist from Boldy and Eric Sinek on just an absolutely beautiful shot from the left side of the net with some traffic in front. Brodeen tips it in and has been hot recently on offense and on defense, too. I mean, he was stellar today. And then just a few minutes later... Mark Jankowski just pops one in past uh, Flurry on what was another pretty good shot himself. So then we go to the end of the first period, you know, tied 1-1. Pretty good score, all things considered. This, that, and the other thing, you know, we're right where we need to be. And then about 3 minutes, 36 seconds in, Luke Evangelista just absolutely, I mean, wow. <laughs> just snipes past Flower on what was a pretty gnarly shot, all things considered, to give him a 2-1 to one lead. And, uh, well, <laughs> not going to lie, I was getting a little nervous there. I mean, that was physical. That was just... I mean, Nashville being Nashville, let's be honest here. But then, as we started getting towards the end of the period, Kirill Kaprizov on a greasy power play goal rebound... I mean, you want to talk about a rugby scrum in front of the net and, you know, <laughs> that was, wow. You want to talk about a greasy goal. So Kaprizov gets a goal on a Joel Erickson, -ish, Joel Erickson Eck assist. Easy enough for me to say. <laughs> Joel Erickson Eck assist and a Matt Boldy assist. Yeah, and like I say, that kind of bounced off of Kaprizov's stick, right off of Shen's skate, kind of, you know, a little bit of bing, bang, bong, and back in the net we go. Two tied up at two going into the third period. But in the third period, Ryan Hartman does it again against the Nashville Predators, against one of his former teams, by the way. He always seems to show up against Chicago and Nashville, and boy, did Hartman need this one badly. First goal since January comes on just an absolute beauty. I mean, he stole the puck like it was an errant pass. Hartman just zooms up the ice, grabs it on his stick, one-on-one -on -one beats Soros. And that was absolutely beautiful. And then the controversial part. With about 2.47 to go in the third, Joel Erickson gets called for a phantom holding call. Oh, boy. And like in usual fashion, the Wild end up paying for it. Whether or not there was a deserved penalty or not, they end up paying for it. And Ryan O'Reilly from Roman Yossi and Philip Forsberg 
we are tied going into the end of the period. And ironically enough, literally a minute later, Boldy gets dumped in center ice, same play, and nothing happens. So we go to overtime, and the Wild managed to keep, you know, pace, get a point, bank one point. You know, overtime, not really a whole lot going on, a little bit of back, a little bit of forth, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, blah, 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 blah. And then an icing, or I believe a stoppage of play happens on either a stop or something along those lines. And then at, you know, with about a minute and, like, 20 seconds or so. John Hines puts his balls on the table, pulls Flurry four on three in the offensive zone. A little bippity boppity boop. Matt Boldy comes to the side and with an absolute wrister from Zuccarello and Kirill Kaprizov pots the overtime winner. Again, John Hines pulls Mark Andre Fleury in overtime. Not on a penalty. He just flat out pulls Flower from the goal. And I'm looking at that going, oh boy, I hope you hit this. Otherwise, this is not going to look good. Ten seconds later, snipe. Wild win, four to three. And get three out of a possible four points on to Tuesday night against, I want to say, Arizona comes into town Monday. Or Tuesday. But anyway, regardless, the Minnesota Wild win in overtime. On what was just an absolutely beautiful goal and a ballsy decision. By John Hines. Whew. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. I mean, you've at you're at least fighting and fighting and fighting here, which I can appreciate. So, but yeah, that'll basically wrap it up. So until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good day.